Hey guys, welcome back to The Kalia Show. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday makeup look. Okay, as natural as possible, you know, the, the natural no makeup makeup look. So that's what I have here, okay? Um, so if you're interested, just keep on watching as I... As I what? As I walk you through it step by step. Okay, Bible sign beside. This is the Kalia Show. Alright, so first things first. We need some moisturizer on these lips because, yeah, this is not, this is not it. I can't do a video with some girl. <laughs> and... Second, oh girl, <laughs> I need to get that mustache because what is going on? Oh my god. So I'm just going to pull out my handy dandy tool. Don't judge me. Okay, I'm Trinidadian. We know this. I'm Harry. It's the first thing people say. I'm like, alright. Dust that off. Alright, so I already did my eyebrows off of the camera. If you want an eyebrow tutorial, I could do that later. I don't do much to my eyebrows though because I already have like nice eyebrows. Um, I just fill them in like slightly and then just outline them. Um, so, alright. For this natural look, first I get my damp beauty blender. I just wet it in water or sometimes I just spray some like rose oil on it. And I'm going to spray my face also. Um before I start just to give it that like glow and I've been using Maybelline fit me for the longest time 340 is my color cappuccino um, but look what came in the mail today my new NYX and I want to try it so I figured why not try it out on video I hope it's the same color because I really don't know I ordered it online so I didn't even like try it out in the store so Wow, it looks like it's <laughs> looks like it's my color. I don't know how this stuff dries or like if it dries fast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending. I use a beauty blender over a brush. I don't know, I just like beauty blenders a lot better. Maybe one day I'll transition to the brush just to try it, but Okay, so this is like it feels like it's light covered. It's not too thick feeling, you know? It feels very sheer. But it appears to be uh getting the job done. I'm just have to go back in and um, do my baby hairs later because I'm messing them up clearly. But you don't want to go outside with an unblended face because mama, that's not cute. Okay. I like it so far. Like I said, it feels really light. It doesn't feel like anything is on my face right now. I go in with my concealer and I use LA Pro Girl. This is Warm Honey. I use like a lighter color than my skin. I try to match this color right here inside of my wrist. I just take some, put it right here. It's Paris! Hold on, mommy. Hola. Hey, I'm I'm still doing it. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, I'm making a video. So, say hi. Who's that? I can't see. It's my camera. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, alright. Well, I'm almost done. I'm going to last grade. I didn't read all of the stuff you sent me, so I'm going to look at it and read it. Alright, but I'll be done soon and then we can go to the store and stuff. Okay. Bye bye. I lied. I'll be done soon. I'm not done soon. <laughs> Let me hurry up so I can go get go to the store. We're having a girls' night. We're gonna eat. You know, cook some things. New video coming. All right. So anywho, I just put this all underneath my eye because my bags be something serious. Maybe I need to sleep better. But I put this all under my eye and I drag it down to right here so that's not like a whole entire different color you know you yeah, know I never make a perfect shape either I just be like this like that and bring it down right here and make my nose a little bit and then sometimes I don't always put it on my forehead but sometimes I do when I'm trying to be extra and I like to make a little heart because I'm extra that was a messed up part but 
And then I'll go down the bridge of my nose in a straight line, straight, straight as line as possible. Como así. Y entonces. So next, I'm just going to blend that out. And before I blend that out, I like to get my powder ready so that it's not like creasing. So I'm using LA Colors. I have Laura Mercier or whatever, however you say that. Um, and it was like really expensive. Yet I'm using this LA Girl powder, which is like $2. I don't know. It just like works better for my skin. Uh, it's... I love it. It works miracles. Like literally two dollars. And I'm using this one over the fifty dollar one. I mean sometimes you know. <laughs> okay, so I get that ready. And I have like a black sponge. So I use just like a black sponge with like a flat face on it. Like my pink my pink sponge doesn't have like a flat face on it. But this black one does. It's by e.l.f. so that I could uh press it down in there and get enough on there. But okay, I'll show you in a second after I blend it out. And I like to look up when I do it so that you can get all underneath your eye. Otherwise, it'll be like creasing real bad. And don't forget to blend out what you put underneath your nose. And then sometimes I take whatever's excess on, to, on my sponge and like blend my eyes some more. as close to your brow as possible so you don't have like a big chunk of like light skin people in the middle of light skin people like you don't have a big a big chunk of like lightness in your uh, forehead so like blend it all around and then you can squeeze I squeeze my beauty blender like that wow it has a tear well hello um my nails are getting so dirty right now and I'll just go like that the powder and I just throw it under there and I love this sponge because it has like a point and it perfectly like sits right there in that like little corner and then you also drag that down to where and I just take a little bit more and graze it across my eyelids just a little bit like that now now that I look crazy, um, we are going to start our contouring process. So what I do first though, before I like do the contours, I take a regular brown color and just like a little fluff brush so that I can start doing like my forehead and my cheeks like with the same color as my skin if that makes sense. I don't know. And then I go in after and then do like the darker colors. So I like dip it. This is called Soft Focus. It's by Black Radiance. It's jacked up because I, I don't know. It dropped and it cracked and I just have been too lazy to get another one. And I just dab that on my forehead and then I just brush it out like that. Really just all around your face because this is like the this should be the same color as your skin tone to set like everything, to set the entire foundation. Let's today what's going on so next I'm gonna go in and contour my cheeks and I'm using true complexion and I have the medium to dark shade and I'm going to use sculpt which is right in the middle and this was like what seven dollars from Walmart or Target and I'm just taking like a, another a different fluff. Fl I'm taking a different fluff brush. And I'm gonna sculpt out my cheeks just like it says, sculpt. And I angle it. Then I go like literally all around the perimeter of my face with this color. And by now, my under eyes should be set and I can dust that off. 
So I'm gonna take this brush Aki. Cute, right? It's it's you can get these like this these brushes from Target. I don't know if they sell them anymore, but um it was it's like by Sophie. Uh maybe I'll look and I look for a link. And I just start dusting it off. Dusting off the powder. And I'm using sweeping motions. I'm not like roughly going back and forth. I'm literally using like a a sweeping motion. Sweep it off. Just like I do my haters. Sweep. Sweep. Sweep it off, honey. I make the weirdest faces when I'm doing my makeup, so don't judge me. Don't screenshot me. I am ready for my highlight. Where is my I didn't even bring it over here. Well, before that, then I'll just go in with this highlight. And for this one, I, I only put that on my um, eyelid. Because it's like a darker gold. It like barely shows up. So I just take a little bit and go like that. Because again, this is just like a, a everyday natural wear. Nothing crazy. So just like give your eyelids a little bit of bronzy shimmer. Take a look. Nothing crazy, you know. And okay, so after that, now I'm going to highlight the the my nose, my cheeks, and my underneath my eyebrow bone. Where's the brush for that? Yo, these lights are hot. It got me sweating before I even I haven't even stepped out the casa yet. Okay. Lately, lately for my highlight, I have highlights, clearly, but I've been using eyeshadow. Okay, don't tell nobody. That's my secret. So I'm using an eyeshadow out of this palette here. The Masquerade by Juvia's. And I'm using this color called, forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, Dahia. D-A-H-I-A. -A. Right here. Dahia. Clearly, I've been using it because that's like the only shade that has like a little hole in it. And I take this eyeshadow brush, it has like a little angle on it, and I just dip it in the palette, and it fits perfectly underneath my brow, and I just do a little wiping motion back and forth like that. You see that glow? And okay. First of all, my eyebrows need to, to be plucked. Oh my god, I know that. So just like that. Something slight. So that like, you know, when you look at people. But, you see that glow? Don't talk to me. You see that glow? I mean, my, it's like, I'm jokes right now. And this is me while I'm sober. I haven't even had my wine yet. Now with the same brush, I'm gonna highlight my nose. And I'm extra, like I love highlight. I go all the way down. My mother be like, why you got that gold nose? You always doing that gold nose. I'm like, cause this is what I like. And when I do her makeup, she complains. She do not want me to do that. Put it right here. Woo! Sis, you see that? And now I'm gonna go to the other side. When I'm feeling extra, I put a little bit up here and make like a, like an angle. A greater than, less than time. <laughs> Mascara and lashes, gloss, and then I'll be done. So I'm going to do my mascara and my lashes off camera. Just get, Well, just, just give me a minute because sometimes these lashes can be tricky. But these are the lashes that I'm using. I'm so excited. I got some more. They were on sale for $3. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to put these lashes on camera, but I feel a little bit pressured, so wish me luck. Um, let me tell y'all why I love these lashes, though. They are not, like, they're, they're movable, they're adjustable. You know how some lash bands are way too thick, so, like, when you put it on, like, the whole thing's, like, shifting everywhere, and it's, like, hard to blend in with your real lashes, and then some bands are too thin, so it just, like, disappears and, like whatever these are like the perfect size lash band I don't even know how to explain it. they just easily like go on 
my lash and I'd be like yes sis so I put the glue on the on the lash and I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 seconds and like blow on it but I'm using duo glue and I take my tweezer it's an angled tweezer you know regular tweezer um, and I grab I grip it right in the middle of the lash like that grip it right in the middle get it dry as possible get it as dry as possible I just sounded so illiterate I am sorry let's, let's pray over it Lord please help me you know prayer is powerful when I pray over things like this my makeup be coming out on point Have it. I put the other lash on. It was a success. And I added um, mascara to my bottom lashes. And here you have the final look. Um, you know, I held you long enough. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video. Give it a thumbs up, please, for me. Dale un like. And subscribe. Um, let me know if you want to see any... any let me know if you want to see any other makeup looks. Um, don't forget to follow my makeup page on Instagram, Blessed by Kalia J. Um, yeah, and let me know if you want me to record one of those looks that you see on my Instagram. I'm talking a whole lot. So thanks for watching. Love ya.